on today's menu a delicious recipe, leaving you one ton more. Delicious one ton style, nachos. Le ho ma, that's how's it going in Cantonese. I'm Will Young from youngmancooking.com. Welcome to the channel where you can cook with confidence. Nachos can be as simple or as complex as you'd like, and this recipe is definitely a fun variation. Let's begin. Small saucepan, medium heat, quarter cup soy sauce, one teaspoon dark soy sauce, quarter cup maple syrup, two tablespoons apple cider vinegar, one teaspoon toasted sesame oil, one teaspoon garlic powder, one teaspoon ginger powder, whisk, let it cook for a few minutes. Combine one teaspoon of potato starch with about a teaspoon of water. This slurry will help thicken the sauce and make it nice and glossy. Stir in the slurry. Let the sauce come to a boil, then turn the heat off. Try not to overboil the sauce as it will thicken as it cools. Preheat the oven to 375. These guys here are dumpling wrappers and you should be able to find these at either an Asian grocery store or even a big box supermarket. I found these ones in the frozen section. These are the same things you would use to make gyoza and you can definitely use one ton wrappers instead, but just to keep it plant-based, we're going to use these dumpling wrappers today. Slice the dumpling wrappers into quarters. Place the wrappers into a mixing bowl. Drizzle of avocado oil. Mix. Transfer the dumpling wrappers onto a baking tray. Make sure each chip is coated with some oil and spread it out. The chips don't have to be perfectly flat either. Don't be afraid to kind of fold them up. Give them a little personality. Season with some fresh cracked pepper. Bake in the oven for 15 to 18 minutes. Pat dry about 175 grams of extra firm tofu with a paper towel and place into a bowl. Crumble the tofu with a fork. Non-stick pan. Medium heat. This is a delicious, smoky, little spicy chili oil I made in a previous episode. I'll leave a link in the description box below for you to check this out. Make this really easily at home. This will give that tofu a really nice, smoky, spicy flavor. One tablespoon chili oil. Saute the tofu for three to four minutes. Take your time to cook the tofu as it will create a little bit of a crispy layer. 2 teaspoons soy sauce. 2 teaspoons dark soy sauce. Saute for a few more minutes. Set aside the crumbled tofu. When the chips are nice and crispy, take them out of the oven and assemble the toppings. One cup plant-based cheese. In this episode, I'm using a shredded cheddar cheese by Violife, but feel free to use your favorite plant-based cheese. Crumbled tofu.
about a quarter of a red onion, thinly sliced. About a quarter of a red bell pepper, thinly sliced. Three sticks of green onion, chopped. Sprinkle over the green parts of the green onion and leave the white parts for another recipe. Broil the nachos on low for three to four minutes. Everyone's oven is different, so be sure to keep an eye on them. Sprinkle over some white sesame seeds. Drizzle over some spicy mayonnaise. You can easily make your own spicy mayo at home by combining some plant-based mayo with some sriracha. Generously drizzle over the teriyaki sauce. You can save the remaining teriyaki sauce for your next stir-fry. You can now enjoy these crispy nachos with absolute confidence. Like I always say, this definitely looks like a party I want to attend. That is just sensational how crispy that is. First off, visually, this is just beautiful with these stunning colors, that pop of green, that purple, that earthy looking crumbled tofu, and those kind of charred dumpling wrapper chips. This is just an explosion of different flavors and textures. There's that salty umami from that teriyaki sauce that we put together. There's a smokiness and a little bit of that spiciness from the crumbled tofu and that chili oil. And it's contrasted with that bright freshness of the green onions and and the red onions and red bell pepper. The pepper gives a little bit of that sweetness as well. And you get that hint of toasted sesame oil, that fragrance that comes through from that teriyaki sauce. There's that butteriness from the spicy mayo. And of course that cheesiness from the plant-based cheese. It is so extraordinary how crispy these dumpling wrappers get, and all we had to do was just bake them. This is definitely one of those recipes that's just easy to put together, looks absolutely stunning, and tastes restaurant quality. This recipe definitely is enough for multiple portions, but of course that depends on the person. And if you love easy, delicious recipes like that, then definitely check out or pick up your copy of one of the three Young Man Cooking cookbooks. I'll leave a link in the description box below for you to check these out. Also, you can check out the Young Man Cooking merch or plant-based sushi masterclass. You can also visit youngmancooking.com. If you're not already subscribed with that notification bell clicked, definitely do so. I'll see you in the next episode.